Hello there, fellow captains, and welcome back to Dreadnought. We're going to be having some fun in the Tier 3 Akula Vector Destroyer, the Dola. There she is. Uh, there we go. And what can I say about this little ship? <laughs> it's actually a lot of fun. You all know I'm a Jupiter Arms man through and through, but this thing has me um, scratching my head and wondering. Hold on. Jupiter Arms don't have it all. Akula Vector have some pretty damn impressive little destroyers as well. And that's what the Dola is. To begin with, I'll go through my loadout. I have Tempest Missiles, Weapon Breaker Missile, Protein Autoguns, and a Jump Drive. My Flak Turrets, or Secondary Armament, are also uh, Tier 3, as well as all the modules they just mentioned. And the list of Officer Briefings are also on screen right now. But, one thing I want to say here is... This thing is beastly. I believe the Akula Vector line of destroyers are the ones with the highest hull strength, aren't they? I would tend to say armor and stuff, but I don't believe there's any armor mechanic in this game, unlike Fractured Space. In Fractured Space, if you fire at, let's say, the um, starboard side of an enemy ship long enough, it's going to rupture, the armor's going to just fall away, be completely destroyed, and what you're firing at is basically the internal parts of the ship. This game, I don't believe, works like that at all, unless there's some hidden values. But... What we're going to be trying to do here is be aggressive. So let's see if we can close in a little bit. Now there's an enemy artillery cruiser. Pushing some fire on us. Enemy destroyer is way off into our right flank. But I believe behind that wall there might be a couple of enemy ships as well. I'm not sure of what class. Probably up. Oh, okay, we see an enemy dreadnought. What's that behind him? An enemy destroyer. Okay, so that's two so far. Okay, so Crazy KSC is going to be our target here. Let's put some fire on him. Make sure we don't hit zero energy, although it does happen. Oh, hello! There's Mr. Soup. Soup is also on their side, just behind that wall. And he is... What's that? Noberon Destroyer? Or Dreadnought, sorry. Okay, that ain't, that ain't good. Okay, let's just peek over. Ah, we're still getting a lot of um, suppression fire from that enemy... Artillery cruiser just trying to keep us down as well as take us out if possible. So let's duck behind here. Our ally here, Mr. I believe it's Black Death of the Unyu, UNYU clan. And he is just completely amazing in this game, providing me with um, support and repairs. Okay, let's take down this other Akula Vector destroyer that's on the enemy side. Missiles deployed. These Tempests, no, they're not Tempests, are they? Hmm, I'm not sure. But they're quite fast, actually. It was either them or the storms, and I believe the storms were nerfed into the ground. So they're no fun anymore. Okay. Let's see. Need to stay here for a second. Just Okay, so one of the enemy dreadnoughts is moving off to the left there, as you saw on the radar. But there's still one behind this wall holding the position. And holding this, uh... What would you call it? Ravine for them? Uh, canyon? There he is, Crazy Kessie. So let's get aggressive, push in. I just typed in to the chat that I'm pushing now, so we're all going to push up. Take him out. Come on, he's almost down. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Enemy down. Oh, and I believe the artillery cruiser went down with him. Sweet. What I intended to do there was jump in and hit the artillery cruiser from behind with a flank. Oh, okay, we have a lot of, <laughs> we have a lot of uh, friends. Two were on dreadnoughts and they're focusing their attention right on me. There's also an artillery cruiser, but he's not aiming in our direction. At least oh, he is now. Okay, swinging around. One enemy dreadnought down. Second is on its way. We are very close to getting ourselves killed, but no, we have support. That's the most enjoyable part of this game is when you actually do get a, a, a team that works together. Bots you can't rely on. Not at all. But when it's actual players, it just feels so much more fulfilling and enjoyable. Okay, that's an bot, I believe, Svetlana Kov. Let's uh, use our warp, close in right on top of it, hit them with the flax. Come on, there we go. Target down. But again, we're confronted by two Oberon Dreadnoughts. Okay, we need to pull back here a little bit. Power into the shields for what little energy we have left. Start hitting the enemy with the flak, and look at the damage being inflicted there. But we are also taking damage from two uh, dreadnoughts. So, of course, we're going to go down. Yeah, looks like my team got distracted by other things. 
or no, they're just a little further back for some reason. Holding that corner, whenever if we all pushed, we could have taken them all quite easily. I mean, we're already willing, we're winning by quite a bit, but you could always be winning by you know a lot more. Okay, let's fire our missiles here at uh, whatever his name is. I curd one two B four two. How do people come up with these names? Didn't even need a him. Missiles took him out for us. Just while we're midway through, I believe, well, the, the score at least is almost midway through, I'd like to just mention, thank you very much to the four patrons I have. Thank you very, very much. Your names are on screen right now. And, of course, you will be viewing this video earlier than those on YouTube. That is one of the perks. If you want to check out my Patreon, it's www.patreon.com forward slash Connor Chaos. That's Connor with one N because I believe that's the original Irish spelling. Although Connor in and of itself is not original, it, it is derived from an another Celtic name, Irish name, that is different, quite a, quite a bit different, but uh, yeah, check it out, links or the information is on screen also. Okay, looks like our team are having quite a bit of a gunnery duel here with an enemy dreadnought. Right, one of our allies there providing fire support for our destroyer. But he's got himself in a sticky situation, so let's close in and give him some assistance. Although, I think this enemy destroyer, yeah, he's going to just make it out of there. But we also have the attention of a couple of other enemy ships. Yeah, there we go, okay. A couple of enemy ships there. Mostly destroyers, one dreadnought. But they don't seem to be focusing on us, which will allow us to replenish our en energy. And our whole strength. Okay, let's start the attack here. Focus on this enemy or enemy destroyer. Every time I see one of the Akula Vector destroyers, I always, for some reason, think Dreadnought. And that's not far from the truth, honestly. They do look more of a Dreadnought than the Oberon Dreadnought. They look a lot tankier and bulkier. There we go. Down again. What I really needed to do here was connect back up with the main fleet connect back up with our team and move forward with them as I was at the start but I do spawn quite a bit away from them which is fair it's balanced if we all spawned right on top of each other the games would be over in no time and you'd be jumping into a situation that you're not fully aware of what's going on okay let's see if we can actually get with the rest of the team here but we've almost won there we go another jump but it might end before we get a chance. Yeah, there we go. And it ended before we got a chance to do anything. But that was fun. That was very fun, actually. So as I mentioned a few videos back, the shorter ones I'm going to be uploading more often. It gives me an easier time with editing, uploading, and just rendering in general. And it also allows me to get a lot more content to you, you guys a lot faster. So thank you very much for watching. Enjoy whatever it is you're playing. Don't forget to check out our Discord, link is in the description below, as well as the Patreon, which is on screen now, and also in the description below. And of course, like always, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye, guys.